Okay, today we're visiting the greenhouse. It's starting to empty out a little bit. We're going to get some empty shells. We gave probably 300 to 400 starts to our local community garden, so we're now down to our very last end of the end of the bunch of tomatoes, which we will be repotting this week and donate again. We've got a couple of pineapple plants we've got going, and they seem to be taking off. We've got our leeks and onions set for next week. We have planted our tomatoes and letting it get just a little bit warmer outside before we move them outside. The strings are ready, so when we get them outside, we have a 10-foot roof over them, and that's we're going to hang the strings so that they can actually trellis up the strings. We have several more tomatoes. We've got some basil. We're actually doing something different this year. We have some nice flower plants that we've grown. So we've got some gladiolus, we've got some marigolds, we've got some borage, we've got some cone flowers, which I got going from seed. I feel that that's the big accomplishment this year. We've got arugula, we've got roses. Our rose bush came back, which I'm happy. We've got ginger going, which is also very exciting. They actually need to be transplanted, so we're doing that. So right now things are in flux. In a few weeks we'll be putting uh, beans in to our gar to our greenhouse and get the beans and the squash going again. So things are moving very well here in uh, Coos Bay, Oregon. And I got to just show you, citrus is not native here. And this is about as far north as you can get. So this citrus goes in every winter. And those are navel oranges, folks. I'm real tickled. Look at that navel orange. As you can see, it's covered with blossoms, so we'll get navels again. We just got our hands on a tangerine, so we're going to give that a try. Our uh, lemons are finally out of their prison, so they'll be kicking off pretty well. We've got another lemon here, and we've got a lime over here. And so, yes, you can grow citrus in Oregon. But the only thing you have to remember is you have to put them indoors in the winter. 